You use your mouse every time you use your computer, but do you know how much power is lying in the keyboard right in front of you? This is Ben with MakeUseOf.com, and today we're going to take a look at some cool keyboard tricks that not a lot of people know about. We'll cover some that work in Windows, some that work in certain applications, and they all help you become more productive on your computer by relying less on the mouse. Our first group of shortcuts deals with Windows functions themselves. Our first one is the Left Shift, Alt, and Print Screen key. When you press this, you'll see a confirmation asking you if you want to turn on high contrast mode. Say yes or hit enter, and you'll immediately be in this mode. Now you'll notice in high contrast mode that on-screen elements are really easy to distinguish. So for people with visual impairments or other eye issues, if you're able to use this mode to quickly distinguish between screen elements, that's what it's made for. So this is a great option if turning up your brightness or enlarging the font size didn't work for you and simply pressing that shortcut again will reverse the mode and bring you back to normal. Our next shortcut is a common one, but you might not know about it. It's Alt-Tab. So press Alt-Tab once to switch between open windows. Windows will toggle between your most recently used applications. You can keep pressing Tab to switch to a later application, and if you press Shift-Alt-Tab instead, you'll go backwards through your list. Next is Shift-Delete. You probably know that when you click delete on a file, it'll ask you if you want to delete it, if you're sure. If you're sure you want to delete the file and you want to bypass that, press shift delete to permanently delete the file. Now by default, Windows will still ask you if you're sure you want to, but when you say yes to this, the file will skip the recycle bin and be permanently deleted. So this is great if you're sure you want to delete something and you don't want it to waste space in your recycle bin. Next up is Windows key and D. Press this and it'll show your Windows desktop. Press it again and you'll jump right back to where you were. It's a lot faster than pointing to the bottom right corner of the taskbar with your mouse. Windows key and L will instantly lock your computer, which we won't show in the video in the interest of time, but it's a great shortcut for when you're getting up for your, from your desk for a moment and you don't want people to be on your computer when you've walked away. A really important shortcut to know is for power users is Windows key and X. This brings up the quick access or power user menu. There's a lot of commands on here, but two of them are really useful. You can use the arrow keys to come up to any command you want instead of using your mouse. So launching a command prompt, for example, is really fast and easy through this method. But you can also use the key shortcuts. So if you wanted to open the task manager, for example, you can see that T is underlined. So pressing Windows key and X and then T would open the task manager. This also lets you quickly shut down your computer. If you press Windows key and X, and then U for shut down. You can then press any of the keys you see here to shut down, restart, or perform other similar actions quickly. Finally, let's cover setting up your own keyboard shortcuts. For this, you'll first need to make a shortcut on your desktop, so let's do that. Open up your start menu and search for something. Let's say we want to search for Chrome. We search for Google Chrome. If you right click on it and click open file location, Windows will show you where it's at. Let's right click on this and click send to desktop, create a shortcut to get a new shortcut on our desktop. Now once we've done that, we can go to our shortcut here, Google Chrome. Let's right click on it and click properties. See this shortcut key box right here? This lets you make your own shortcut. Let's say you want to do control alt C. Hit OK and then Windows will register that as a shortcut across the operating system. Press Control alt c and a new Chrome window will pop right open. It's really handy for opening shortcuts to applications that don't have their own default shortcuts. So we've talked about Windows shortcuts. Let's talk about shortcuts for Firefox and Chrome next. Some of these work in other browsers like Edge too. First you can use Control and then a number on your keyboard to switch between open tabs. So for example you see here that I have dictionary.com as the third tab. So Control 3 will switch right to that. Control 1 will switch right back to make use of here. If you'd rather go through them one by one, Control Tab will cycle through your open tabs. And just like Alt Tab, you can use Control Shift Tab to go backwards too. When you're ready to close a tab, you can click Control F4 to close it. Control W will do the same function. If you're trying to navigate a web page and don't want to use your mouse wheel all the time, you have a couple different ways to do it with the keyboard. Hitting the page down and page up keys will go a set distance down or up, as well as the, the key, the space bar. The space bar key will drop it down and then shift space bar will bring it up. You've probably noticed by now that the shift key 
is usually used as a backwards modifier for a lot of commands. You can also use the home and end keys to go all the way to the bottom or top of a page. Finally, in browsers and pretty much every other Windows app, you can use F11 to enter full screen if you want to get the most out of your real estate. Finally, let's cover a few quick universal shortcuts that you can use pretty much anywhere. You probably know about Control z and Control y for undo and redo, so if we come up to our address bar here and we delete this, and we decide, oh no, I wanted that, Control z will restore it, and Control y will undo that restore. Control z is a great shortcut to have your fingers on at all times, because no matter whether you're typing a paper, editing an image, or anything like that, you're probably going to make a mistake sooner or later, and Control z wipes that out immediately. You can close any window using Alt and F4 to instantly close, like we just did with Chrome there. And finally, you can use Control and your mouse wheel to zoom in or out. So if you hold Control and you zoom in, zoom out, you can also use Control Plus and Control Minus. And if your zoom gets all messed up, you have no idea what you're doing, hold Control and hit 0 on your number bar, and you'll instantly get back to where you were zoomed in at 100% normal default zoom level. So those are a lot of the cool keyboard tricks that we found in Windows and its various apps. There are a whole lot more for you to explore, so click on over to the link in the description to read the full article on Make Use Of. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, uh, keep it at Make Use Of's YouTube channel for more tips and tricks uh, videos like this, as well as giveaways and reviews of the newest tech. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.